Hello, this is a demo of a prototype for making the Jira Connect app work with self-managed instances I'm working on. I'm going to share my screen. Here we go. Um, so my setup here is um, I have a Jira Cloud workspace here, uh, which runs in development mode. I have one Git pod running, um, which we would consider to be gitlab.com. And I have another Git pod running, which we would consider to be the self-managed GitLab instance. Um, so if you want to install the app, we need to um, upload an app descriptor. So this one is hosted on the gitlab.com one. Um, I'm going to copy the URL, and um, then we can upload it here. And what Jira does is it, it fetches this app descriptor. and um, that sends a installation hook to the um, URL we defined here. So I think there's a, all right. So uh, we have this lifecycle events, uh, there's installed. Um, so when we install the app, Jira will send, uh, will post a message to events installed. And when we uninstall it, it will post a message to uh, uninstalled. And on the GitLab side, we would then create a GitLab installation entry. Um, okay, so uploading this one, this will install the app. There we go. And on my GitLab instance, um, there should be a Jira Connect installation now. So just load the first one. And yeah, this is the one created through the webhook. Um, so it has some, some uh, client secret fields, uh, empty base URL, and I, I added the new field installation URL, the instance URL. And this should point to the self-managed instance later. So this will, installation will behave like a, like a proxy for the self-managed one. Um, all right, back to Jira. Let's get started. So this is the um, Jira uh, GitLab app page. And basically, um, all of this is an iframe. And this page is hosted on our gitlab.com instance. So I added this little form up here um, to update the instance URL. And I'm just going to copy the base URL for my self-managed instance here. Um, hit Save. And um, usually this should go to another page and then redirect back. Um, I think it doesn't work because Jira blocks the iframe from changing its location. Um, but I think it works. Let's check um, if we reload the installation. It now has an instance URL. It just doesn't refresh the page. Um, all right, so um, what I did now is when the installation has an instance URL, it renders another iframe within this iframe because basically we're not allowed to, to um, redirect from this iframe. Um, so we basically have to keep our github.com iframe and this one renders one for the self-managed instance. So uh, reloading. Uh, yeah, see, so this is the original iframe and there's the other iframe within this iframe. Um, so I added this output to see which instance this is. And um, so this matches the one we put, put in here. <clears throat> and we can also check on the, um, on the self-managed instance uh, because this should have an installation now. Um, the idea is that gitlab.com when we add the instance URL, it should forward a, or try to um, behave like an installation webhook that should come from Atlassian, but actually comes from GitLab. Um, so there should be a Jira Connect installation now. Yes, there it is. Um, so it has the same base URL. It doesn't have an instance URL because this is the self-managed one. So it doesn't need to proxy forward to, to any other instance. 
Um, all right, so we have the installation. Only thing left is to add namespaces. Um, and this currently doesn't work. When I try to link a namespace, uh, it fails. And I think this is because um, the nested iframe doesn't have access to the Atlassian JavaScript. So usually this iframe, um, so the first level iframe, uses a JavaScript to access um, some things in Atlassian. For example, um, here it is. So AP context get token should get the um, token from Atlassian, so the JWT token. But since we are on a nested iframe, we can't really use this bot. So this is why it's failing. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll be happy to get some front end help for that. And maybe we can figure out if we can proxy this token through the other iframe. Thanks for watching.